In the previous video, we used phpMyAdmin to import databases into our new installation. But as we saw, you have to edit php.ini to get it to work with large files, and the import takes a very long time, even with small files. A better way to restore databases is to use the command line. You have to create the database first in phpMyAdmin. So click on Databases and then enter the database name. And create an empty database named Demos, setting the collation to UTF-8 General CI, Unicode Case Insensitive. Open up a command window by searching for CMD in the Windows search box and clicking on cmd.exe. Change directory to C backslash xamp backslash mysql backslash bin, as we did earlier. Type mysql space dash u space root and then if you set a password for php myadmin dash p and the password. I use the word simple as the password. If you have no password, omit the dash p and the password. Remember there is no space between the dash p and the password itself. Then a space and the name of the database, Demos. Then a left pointing arrow, the less than sign, to direct the input into that database. Then the path and file name of the file we're restoring from, which is c colon backslash demos backup dot sql. Press enter and wait, and the data should be imported into the newly created demos database. We can check that in PHP My Admin. That's the end of this series of lessons on how to upgrade from MySQL to MariaDB. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to check out my other tutorials and courses, and to check regularly for new material.